Alright, what's up guys, it is your boy Munchie and today I've got a brand new video. Now before I even get into this video, the first thing I want to say is thank you for all the support on my most recent videos, especially the run videos. You guys have been going absolutely crazy on them. The uh, part one has like 50 likes on it and the second one has almost got 40 likes, absolutely fucking crazy. Both of them like, have got over 200 views, Just it's just crazy man, I'm just, you know, greatly appreciative of all the support on my videos. But <clears throat> let's get straight into this video so what I'm bringing you guys today is a type 100 class out video now I've been meaning to do like I wanted to start off doing class out videos but I didn't want to just rush them all out and then you know these it's like some guns get nerfed some guns get buffed and then I have like all these videos out on the best class out videos but they're not any good they're not any good anymore because the guns are absolutely shit so I decided you know what, I'm gonna post this one because I don't think they're going to change anything with the Type 100. It's got decent range, decent damage and stuff, but it's nothing crazy out of all of the SMGs. But it's a pretty good and reliable SMG if you're pretty accurate anyway. The class setup I'm using is going to be on the screen right about now. As you can see, I'm running Quick Draw, Extended Bags, Rapid Fire, and Rifle Barrel. That's the class setup I always use. Now, as you can see in the gameplay in the background, I'm not exactly using Extended Mags. That's because I didn't have Primed Unlock, which gives you that fourth attachment. But I normally do have four attachments on my Type 100 simply because it's just better having it. And the gameplay that you guys are actually watching is a second half of a CTF match where I actually do get the V2 rocket. This was like my second or third V2 rocket. And most of my V2 rockets, surprisingly, have actually been with some machine guns. I didn't really expect it because the ARs are so dominant in this game, like the bar and the SDG. But, you know, I didn't want to make this like a whole 10 minute video. I think it's kind of pointless of having like a 10 minute class out video. And especially since I can't commentate over a 10 minute class out video, um, I just decided, you know, I'm going to take the second half of it when I actually do get the V2 rocket. And I'm going to just use that. So, as you can see, I'm actually playing with the Team Memory underscore Team 1. Um, which is you know obviously pretty good and you know the gameplay is just like it's like pretty fast paced It's not really too campy, you know, obviously I am using a sub so I've got to be able to move But I mean this was my second v2 rocket So you can't really blame me for like really pre-aiming every single corner that I get around and being like kind of scared of what's gonna happen and You know, it's just it's second v2 rocket and it's obviously quite early into the game And I, my current count of v2 rockets are at nine or something like that. I've got nine rockets and all of most of them, I would say like 7 out of the 9 or like 8 out of the 9 have been with submachine guns. And i got to say that playing with submachine guns on some CTF maps are really good. Like especially on uh, Point de Hawk, like this map right right now, it's like the submachine guns are really good. And as you can see, I'm playing like an absolute bitch and I think this is the kill that I actually get the VT rocket. And I was really happy. I actually got this on stream, on TMM stream, so that was, that was pretty good as well. And yeah, this class is just like really good. I'm, obviously, I'm using the infantry division simply because... It does give you the strafe stock on this game, and I'm gonna tell you something. Putting that stock, the strafe stock on SMGs on this game, is a big fucking mistake for anybody coming up against you because the aim assist isn't really that reliable in this game for some reason. And you can legit just dodge people's bullets, like as I'm doing. Like you're gonna see me kill a whole load of people. Like from a lot of the gameplays that I do have stored up, that you guys are eventually will see, you're gonna see me running infantry with some machine guns. And that's simply because the st the strafe stock on it is just absolutely fucking amazing. Like people find it like, unless you've got really good accuracy, people do find it really hard to actually hit you. That's the only reason why I do run infantry, and obviously it gives you that extra attachment, which allows you to run fourth attachment paired up with primed. And you know, obviously, I'm running Prime because of the reduced flinch, as you can see my shit accuracy there. But you know, Prime is like really essential in this game. I did use to I just, like the gameplay that you guys are watching now. I'm not actually using Prime. I'm actually using I think it's all. No, I'm not even using Ordnance. I, I can't remember what I'm running. But yeah, um, this the gameplay was going like I would say like a week or a week or two ago. As you can see, I'm Prestige three in this gameplay, and at the time of recording this video, I'm actually Prestige seven. So you know, it wasn't exactly yesterday or the day before like actually recording this video this gameplay is i've actually had it for quite some some time but if you guys do find this class up useful in any way make sure to hit that like and the sub button don't forget to turn on the post notifications as well my notifications been really fucked up recently like some videos um, my notifications go out and then like some videos it just doesn't even i don't even know what's been going on but make sure you guys got on the post notifications i'm gonna be bringing you guys the best class out videos Obviously, they may not come like all at once, but I want to make sure that I have the perfect class for you guys so that you guys can get the best experience while using the gun. But I would say that this gun is very reliable at range. It's got good range, good accuracy, barely any recoil, as you can say. As you can see, um, the damage isn't really too strong, so I wouldn't exactly say putting airborne division on and running the suppressor. 
but I would definitely recommend you guys trying out SMGs with Infantry Division. Now, this is pretty much the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to hit that like. If you found the class useful, make sure to hit that sub button. It's been your boy Munch, and I'm out. Peace.